Hello, I'm Novella Froman with the Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service, and I want you to have fun with me in making this Starry Night painting. Well, why do we need to make our painting? Well, first of all, you need an eight by 10 canvas. You need paint, and there's a lot of paint, blue, black, red, green, white, and yellow. We also need um, a brush, cotton swab, toothpick, toothbrush, water, and paper towels. So I have all of my uh, things gathered here. And by the way, you can pick these up at the Pike County Extension Office for a small amount of time until the holidays. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our sponge and it needs to be dampened a little bit and you want to cover swipe back and forth and cover your canvas now um when i got finished with it and i did it the first time i found that it really was not just one layer wasn't quite thick enough so i put another coat so i'm going to go right back up and cover my canvas and uh, as you run out Dip it in again. And then you are, you need to let it dry. Now, if you're an impatient person, you'll use a blow dryer and get it done. Um, as you notice, I have on gloves. <laughs> when I did this, my fingers were blue and it stained it. And so um, I use gloves because of uh, the stains on the hands, but you can do it without it and just wash your hands with soap and water. Okay, so the blue paint is dry, and now I'm gonna start adding my snow. I have the rinsed out the sponge, and make sure you do it real well because the blue paint is pretty strong. And you're gonna make little circles, making a snow bank. Uh, leave a little valley in the middle, so that is where our tree is gonna go, our starry night tree. And you put that on there, and then we're gonna set this aside to dry, in just a minute, we're going to add our tree. All right, so we have added our snow bank. We, you are not going to believe one of the tools that we're going to use for our painting. It is a toothbrush, and we're going to paint, uh, dip this into the paint, white paint, and cover the bristles. And again, I'm still wearing my gloves because, and you are going to flick the paint onto the paint, the blue part of the paint. Now, if it's a little bit thin, and I think mine is, you can dip it in water. Um, just make sure it's not too thin because it really make your stars or watery. And just flicker your paintbrush and it will make look like a starry night. So we're gonna do that, let it dry, and we're gonna come back and finish our painting. All right, so we've got our stars, stars all dry and we're ready to begin putting in our tree. Now we're gonna put it in the valley right here and uh, we're gonna use our cotton swab. Now if you have a really good brush, it would be better. Um, there is a small brush in the kit that, that we were giving out, but it's not really good for doing this. So you're gonna take, first of all, the green paint and you're gonna mix it with the black because we want our tree, even though it's going to be a starry night, we want the tree to be, um, a, have a tint of green like it would. And you're gonna start in the valley and then you're going to, and make sure, mine has a little bit of a cotton needed to be, and then you're just gonna go up up, up, until, leave room up here, because we're gonna put a star, but, and then at the bottom, we're gonna make it a little bit fatter, because you know a tree, and it's not, if yours, yours is twisted and turned, that's okay, because we're gonna be doing other things to this wonderful tree. We're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna do the next step. All right, we're ready to begin. Who would have thought that you could use a cotton swab for a paintbrush, but it really does work. And so we're gonna start making the parts of our tree, remembering it's smaller at the top, bigger at the bottom. So you're gonna keep going. 
and make it wider and wider and make cover. And you want to get about a fourth of an inch uh, at the from the bottom. You want to leave it blank because we certainly want our tree trunk to show. But just keep on going and building your branches until we get to the bottom. And then we're going to let it dry and we'll tell you the next step. All right, so we have got our tree um, sort of blackened in and it looks pretty rough, but we're not finished. This is just the beginning. So what we're gonna do is mix a little bit of the white and green, very light green, and we're going to have shadows on our tree. And I think the light's gonna come from this side. So we're gonna focus and we're just gonna take a little paintbrush and give it a little shadows. You want to do this on every branch and even uh, dip in water if it's not flowing real good, but even the um, inside would have shadow on it and that maybe gives our tree a little more shape and dimension. So go ahead, cover the, the branches with the, with the light and then we'll be back and we're going to tell you how to decorate our tree. All right, well, so we have added highlights. I found out I didn't just use the paintbrush. I used cotton swabs. I used uh, toothpicks. So um, all of those are in your kit, but whatever works for you. Now we have to have a shadow for our tree. So we're gonna dab a little bit of the white paint down here. And what do you say? Why would you do that? Well, we're going to swipe and use the other side of the sponge and we're going to swipe some i'm just going to use the end of my tip toothpick and just swipe a little black mark underneath our tree making it look like it's got a shadow give it more this something like that a little shadow here and go on to our next step now we certainly want our tree to have decorations. And we're gonna start with a great big star. And we will use um, a dot of yellow paint, and then we will make it using some of the tools included in our kit. Be back in a minute, and we will make our star when this one dries. We're ready to add the star to the top of our tree. And I'm gonna use a toothpick and uh, dip it into our paint. Also, um, dipped it a little bit in water because you want it to be fluid. And so I'm going to make a big dot at the top of your tree. And then I'm going to drag. You make an X. X here, X here. And if it starts to be um, a little bit sketchy, then you can dip it in water to make it thinner. And keep making your X's. And then but that's not the rest of this star. When it dries, we're gonna add highlights and you'll be surprised at how much difference it might. Let this dry and be back with the next step. All right, so we have added our star and we'll be adding a little bit more to it, but now we, you might be surprised, but we're gonna use a pencil eraser and uh, you can actually go to a fancy art shop and they'll call this a dauber. You can actually buy them, but why would you do that when your pencil eraser will do the same? So we're going to dip our paint, our uh, <laughs> dauber into the red paint, and then we're gonna put red balls up and down our tree. And you can put some on the edge, and if it starts to, to fade a little bit, then add some more paint. So decorate the tree, the number of red balls, I think I have around 12 in mine, but you know, you may like a little more, but leave room because we're gonna put some little starry lights on it to make it real special. Finish up the uh, red balls and then we'll be back after it dries. Okay, so we have uh, our star has its highlights. And you know, uh, if you're looking at it close up and you think, well, this look good. Uh, even if you've got a fine tooth, uh, a little, fine paintbrush, it would be better, but the toothpick works. Um, certainly keep adding water. So the next thing we want to do is give dimension to our little red bulbs. Again, we're gonna use our white paint and we're gonna make a little tiny 
and then a small dot if you have room and if you don't just a small on each of your bulbs so that it looks like it has highlights and I'm putting these on the left you can do it on the right if you'd like but cover them all and then let that dry and then our next step will be coming up all right so our highlights on our tree are uh, for the bulbs is finished one of the things that I noticed as I was looking at it is it seems like we need a little more high whites on our snow so I have dipped my sponge into the white paint and made some more snow drifts so uh, it seemed like the paint was a little thin and so you you want to cover that and make sure we see that beautiful cold snow which we're going to get pretty soon let that dry and then we're going to show you how to make the starlights all right we're ready to make the stars and i've tried the toothpick i've tried the pencil and i think your q-tip wind it up until it's got a little bit of a point and that's what you're going to make your star with what you're going to do dip it in your paint and you're going to make a dot and then you're going to do an x and an x and if you run out of paint you can come back and fill it in and x until you have the star that you like so um, how many stars do we put on there i'm going to dip this in one more time how many do we put on there well it's up to you um i think in order to be effective you know two or either three or five but you can do your own stars and uh, just make a dot and do several x's uh, i'm going to put one right here and x and x and that will make your little star lights and make it show up in the sky that's the reason it's called the starry light painting all right so we're gonna let this dry come back and we're gonna all right, I'm going to use the other end of my paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in our yellow paint because we're going to make some little twinkle lights on our tree. And I dipped it in a little bit of water. See the fine point? And so you're going to get it spaced between the different Christmas bulbs. Again, if you run out of paint, dip it again and cover the twinkle lights as much as you like. I, I know you think this is taking a long time, but you know, you're gonna have a work of art to hang on the tree and you're finished. So we're gonna do the twinkle lights, show you how to highlight those, and then I think we should be finished with our painting. All right, so we have got our twinkly lights on there, and then to give them a little more depth, we're going to take our white paint and cover it and I'm using a toothpick um, certainly if you have a very decorative um, paintbrush that you can have a little tiny one but a toothpick will work or we have also um, could use the uh, cotton swabs that were all rolled up in, into a point as well so you cover all of this with white and then guess what you have to add your signature and then when you're finished you will have this painting to hang on your wall. This is Novella Froman with the Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service, where 4-H is making the best better.